In this video, you'll learn how to create a new user on an Oracle database. We'll use SQL Developer for this video, but you can follow the process using any Oracle SQL editor. This video is part of my introduction to SQL course, but you can use this process for creating any user. Let's get into the video. The first step is to open SQL Developer and connect to your database. When you connect to your database, you'll need to connect as a user that has privileges to create other users. If you're connecting to a database on your own computer, this may just be the sys or system account. If it's a database for work, it will be another account that has admin or special privileges. If you're not sure, just connect as one of the other accounts you have and we'll see if it works. Once you connect to a database, you should have a new query tab open automatically. If not, you can click this button here on the left to open new SQL query tab. Or you can click the button on the right to open a new tab as well. The difference is that creating a new file or the button on the left will save your editor as a new file. And opening a new tab will just open a tab and not save a file. Either method will let you create a new table. The next step is to enter the command for creating a new user. This is simply create user. So enter that command into the editor with a space between create and user. I like to enter my SQL keywords in uppercase, but this is optional. It will work if it's in lowercase as well. After you enter the create user command, enter in the name of the user you want to add. In this case, we'll create a user called intro underscore user. You can only have letters and underscores in your name. So I've used an underscore here instead of a space. After you enter the username, we need to specify a password. We do this by entering the keywords identified by, and then we enter the password we want to give the account. This password is used when we create a new connection and log on to the database. In this example, we've used the word my password, but in a real database, you would use something more secure. Then add a semicolon to end the statement. Now we can run the statement. To do this, Click on the run button here, which is the big green triangle on the toolbar. When you run the statement, you'll see the results in the output window at the bottom. The statement should run and you should get a result like this, meaning that the user is created. However, all we've done is create the user. The new user does not have privileges to do anything yet. In order to give it privileges, we need to run more commands. To give privileges to a user, we use the grant keyword. We type in the word grant, then enter the privilege we want to give. The first privilege to give would be the ability to connect to the database. This is not given by default. This privilege is called connect. So to grant this privilege, we type in grant connect to intro user. Add in a semicolon at the end. This will give the connect privilege to the intro user so they can connect to the database. You can run this statement now, or you can wait until we've finished writing our other privileged statements and run them all together. We'll run them together in this video. There are a few other privileges that we'll grant to this user. One will be create session, which will allow the user to have a session created when they log in. Connecting is pretty useless without this, so we can add this privilege. We type in grant create session to intro user. The next privilege is one to create tables. For the introduction to Oracle SQL course, and for working with Oracle in general, you'll likely need to create tables. So to do this, you need to create table privilege. Write another grant statement for this. Grant create table to intro user. The last privilege is one that we'll use for our introduction to SQL course, but may not be needed in your database if you're at work. This privilege is about table space. This will allow the user to have as much space as they need for creating tables, because each table takes up space on the server. You can specify the size of the table space, but for this example, we'll make it unlimited. So enter in grant unlimited table space to intro user. Now we've entered in several grant statements, it's time to run them. Highlight the statements you want to run, which are the grant statements we just wrote. Click on the run button to run the statements. Because they are highlighted, they will all get run. 
At the bottom of the window, you'll see the output of the statements, which will say Grant succeeded. If there are any errors here, you can investigate them. A common error would be that you don't have the privileges to grant to other users, so you'll need to log in to an account that does. So that's how you can create a new user in Oracle SQL. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about database design and development, visit databasedar.com. That's where I share my best database related content. Which step from this tutorial was the most helpful? Was it using the create user command? Or was it running several grant statements to give the right privileges? Or something else? Thanks for watching.